Hey there guys, I figured for something fun, I would do a recorded playthrough of Baldur's Gate 2, the Enhanced Edition. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I will end up getting through the entire game. It's a very, very long game. Um, but if interest seems to be there, I'll keep posting videos. But for this one, <coughs> we're going to give it a try and see if people enjoy it. Now, this is a really old game. It came out, I think, in 19, like 97 or something. It's it's pretty old. Um, the Enhanced Edition was, you know, updated somewhere like in 2012 or so. In any case, very, very, very old game. Uh, it's based on 2nd Edition Dungeons & Dragons, which is super ancient by these days. But the game is pretty fun. Um, there is the part one as well. I'm not going to record that one because, again, that's a very, very long game. And the first Baldur's Gate is, I mean, it's a good game and all, but it is a low-level Dungeons & Dragons game, which you don't really have access to a lot of cool stuff at the lower levels. <laughs> um, Shadows of Om, which is what we're going to play, starts off around level like seven or eight, uh, depending on your class you choose. And you, you just get a lot more access to cool abilities during the game. Now, I'm going to say right up front, I am using some mod, some player modifications for the game. Mostly just like quality of life and convenience things. For example, I'm using a, a mod that allows items to stack way higher. So it, it cuts down on inventory management. For example, in the normal game, I think arrows only stack to like either 20 or like 99. Now they're going to stack to 10,000. <coughs> Stuff like that. So, it's, you know, stacking the modifiers. I'm using a modifier that allows us to move very, very quickly outside of combat. That's only going to be for quality of life. During combat, the player movement speed is as it should be. So there's no like balance issues there. It's just going to let me zip, zip across the map during like you know walking around town stuff like that very quickly some other small quality of life mods i can't think of all of them but no real mods that affect like player power with the exception of the experience cap modifier so because i'm going to be going through mostly as a solo character um you would run into the experience cap pretty quickly playing that way so i do have a mod that removes the player experience cap. So we can have a single player that levels up higher than you normally would be in the game, which arguably is, you know, definitely um, power level changing, but it's how I enjoy playing the game. <clears throat> and we're also going to be um, adding a bag of holding to my inventory. So we're gonna like cheat in an extra item again, that's mostly going to be just so it's better for the viewer experience. By giving me a bag of holding, it'll cut down on a lot of backtracking, selling, inventory management, you know, tedious stuff. So if you give me a bag of holding, it's not going to change player power at all, but it will allow me to, um, <coughs> you know, uh, backtrack a lot less often. And then the last thing, which is certainly not like a cheat or anything, but I'm going to be giving my character one extra stat. Um, across the board because if you played the original Baldur's Gate and then imported your character Which is how you're supposed to do it You would have found one of each permanent stat modifying tome in the first game actually three for wisdom and one for the rest of the stats so we're gonna be editing our character to Act like we played through the original game even though I'm not gonna take the 40 hours to do so <laughs> But okay, let's get into it. Oh and in terms of like spoilers and all that, um, I'm not gonna intentionally spoil the story as we go, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to avoid spoilers either. Also, I will be trying to like explain stuff as we go um, during this. For people that have never seen Baldur's Gate, if you don't know the story, I will explain the original story as well. And we are gonna be- You spend your youth in Here the library go. fortress of Candlekeep, under the kind tutelage of your foster father, Gorion. This will give you some backstory. shared this home, a kindred spirit. Her background was as mysterious as your own. 
Gorion's murder brought answers to your questions when his killer Saravak was revealed to be your brother. This is all from part one. You and Saravak were a product of the Time of Troubles, a chaotic period when <coughs> gods were made flesh and forced to walk the earth. One such deity foresaw his own death and walked the land before the cataclysm. He left a score of mortal offspring intended to be the fuel for his rebirth. The god was Baal, lord of murder, and you are one of his children. Saravak sought a war of sacrifice to prove his worth, believing he could become the new lord of murder. You killed your brother, sending his taint back to Baal. You were the hero of Baldur's Gate. But some suspected you shared the same lineage as Saravok. You departed soon after, under circumstances much darker than anyone would have believed. They came as you rested, figures cloaked in mist that clouded your thoughts, blurring the lines between consciousness and dreaming. There was no malice or hatred, no mention of an old score, only quick capture and the promise of grim deeds to come. Okay, there is <clears throat> there is the intro. So just to give you a real quick primer on what happened in the first game, as you kind of saw it during the intro. Um, so during the first game, you know, you're a character. You, you end up finding out that you are the son of the Lord of Murder. One of the many, many. He's had like a hundred children or more, like lots and lots. Um, in any case, your brother is one as well, Saravak. You go through the game. I'm not gonna go through the whole game, but at the end of the game, you beat Saravok, you kill him, and you're you're the hero. Yay, you say you save the day. Then this game starts off with you have just been captured. Um, and we're gonna get to the beginning in just a second, but first we've got to create a character. So we're gonna go ahead and go with a male. And I've got a custom portrait I'm gonna be using. I downloaded um <clears throat> you know, it's kinda cool. I'm gonna be playing like a mage a mage thief character, and I figured this portrait was pretty good for that. We're gonna go with an elf because I'm kind of a metagamer and you know, elf, mage, thief, that's just fitting. They've got resistance to charm and sleep, infravision, uh, Thaco for bows, short swords, and long swords, and Thaco, well, we're going old school for this one. I'll explain that during the game. Uh, some bonuses to thieving skills, plus dexterity, minus constitution. The minus constitution is kind of sucky, but uh, that's okay. So we're gonna go with a mage, Thief class, a dual class. Now, <clears throat> because we are removing the experience cap, honestly speaking, a fighter mage thief would be way more powerful um, late game. But even though I am removing the experience cap, I don't want to like really heavily lean into that because that's very unbalanced. Being able to level up in the late game to like a level 30 fighter mage thief is is really, really powerful. So we're gonna go with a Mage Thief, which is, you know, it's still gonna be a very strong combination. Thief has backstab stuff. Mages are just the best class in Baldur's Gate. That is, that's just the way it is. <coughs> but yeah, we're gonna go with a Mage Thief. Now, this is gonna be a little bit weak in the early game because Mage Thief is gonna have like horrible uh, physical combat abilities. And our low-level mage spells are not going to be that good, but it'll be good enough for the early game. And because we're only going to be playing as a single character, <coughs> we'll be able to level up pretty quickly and hopefully get through this. So, alignment. Um, honestly, alignment is not <coughs> that big a deal on the game. Uh, there's a few things it, it modifies. Um, you're familiar if you are a mage, which we are. 
Um, it'll modify your starting bail spawn powers, um, which are pretty minor. And you know, spoiler, they get taken away later in the game anyway. So they're not not that not big of an influence. <clears throat> it influences your starting reputation, which can save you some money. The hot the, the 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 more good you are, the higher your starting rep. The cheaper items are. That's very minor. We we can change reputation very quickly in the game. Um, but then the biggest thing. Oh, also, there's some items that are reputation locked. Or, I'm sorry, uh, alignment locked. Like, you know, uh, the the Holy Avenger can only be used by lawful good paladins. That's a bad example. It's only paladins anyway. But, uh, like, the, 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 the flesh of... The skin flesh armor can only be used by evil characters. That kind of stuff. <clears throat> but probably the biggest difference is some characters... Uh, some of these spells, specifically divine spells... They do different things to different alignments. And there's quite a few evil clerics in the game that are going to use things like Unholy Blight. And if you're a good character, those Unholy Blights will like be really painful to you. And they give you, they blind you, they lower your stats and all that. It's like, it's a really anti-good spell. Uh, so we're going to play an evil character just, <clears throat> just because playing an evil character, it's a metagame reason we can make those evil clerics not be as powerful against us. So it'll make some of those nukes not as strong against us. So for our abilities, now this is old school. We're going to be re-rolling abilities. And I'm not going to do it forever and ever, but we're going to just re-roll this until we hopefully get a high number. Um, I'm going to do this for like a minute, two minutes. We're not, we're not going to sit here all day re-rolling <coughs> re stats. I don't know what the maximum possible to reroll is. There's an 84. There's an 85. We'll store that. Let's see if we can get higher than 85. Um, you know, I, I don't know what the, the max potential is. I guess 18 across the board in theory. That'll probably never happen, but I guess it could. <clears throat> but this is not the biggest deal because we're going to be able to max the important stats anyway. All the high number really matters that much is we're going to be able to get higher charisma and wisdom, which are going to be like throwaway stats for us. We're going to max all the good stats, and then we're going to any leftover, <coughs> going to charisma and wisdom, which are not going to be that important for our build. Wisdom is for divine casters. That's not us, like rangers, paladins, clerics, druids. And then Charisma is basically just for prices and stores. That's the only thing that really matters on Charisma. It matters for like sorcerers and bards, but we're not playing that either, so whatever. So we're going to do this 20 more times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, we got an 86 and I forgot to store it. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. But I saw an 86, and now I really want to try to get that again. Uh, we're going to... 88! That's good enough. That's good enough. Okay, so we've got an 88. So let's go ahead and drop these Wisdoms and Charismas. Let's max out all our stats possible. Because we're an Elf, our Dex is a max of 17, and our Con is a max of 16. Uh, and then Leftovers go into Wisdom and Charisma. We're going to have an 8 and 8. <clears throat> but remember, um, actually, we're going to have a... Whoops. We're going to have a... Oh, I can't go any lower. <clears throat> That's fine. So because we're going to be simulating like we played through the first game, we're going to have plus one to all these stats. So we're going to have 19 strength, 20 dex, 18 con, 19 intelligence, three extra wisdom. So 11 wisdom and nine charisma. It's just fine. It's fine. So we're not going to be super popular, especially because we're both evil and low charisma. We're not going to be the most popular character, but I don't care. And then our skills... So thieving skills, we're going to max out open locks. This is not the biggest deal because you can use the knock spell on, on wizard, but that's going to be a lot of like spell casting and, and resting to do it again. Just max out open locks. We can just pick everything. It's good experience too. Find traps is probably the most important skill in the entire game of Baldur's Gate. There are so many traps in the game and lots of them are just lethal. Like you're dead if you hit the trap. So we're going to max that out. Then the remainder, <clears throat> um, pickpockets I don't care about. We're not really going to be doing m much pickpocketing. Uh, move silently and hide in shadows. These are really good, and we're going to max these during the game. But these, so open lock and find traps are a threshold thing. So at 100, at 100 you're guaranteed to always succeed. There, there is no fail. 
move silent and hide in shadows, they get penalties based on your, your environment and the, the enemies around you. <clears throat> so they take a lot of points before they're worth actually using. So we're going to just max out Detect Illusions, and mostly because this is going to give us a way to beat an early quest pretty easily. Um, another option is to go to Set Traps, and that might be better. But I think we're going to go Detect Illusions for now for that early Circus quest. Um, yes, I've played the game before. Now, as far as our weapon proficiencies, we're going to go Longsword. We're going to go short bow and I think quarterstaff for the last one. Um, <clears throat> mostly because we need a source of blunt damage for some of the golems in the starter dungeon. Especially because we're not going to be using uh, a real party. So, yeah, it seems fine. Okay, uh, now our starter mage spells. They pick some automatically. I'm going to pick them myself. Thank you very much. So level 1 spells. Let's grab Fine Familiar to get more bonus HP. <clears throat> Let's grab Magic Missile for dealing damage. Uh, protection from Petrification. That's really good against like Baseless, which we're going to deal with at some point in the game. Um, oh, I am using a, a, play, a mod, by the way, to have everything already identified. Again, it's just going to cut down to convenience. If I didn't have that mod, we'd have to identify every single item. It would just be very tedious and boring for the players to watch. So I have, I have a mod that everything's already identified. Just quality of life. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and do armor in case we need that. And we can always find these spells during the game too. This is not that big a deal. Let's grab shield just in case. Level 2 spells. Let's go ahead and <clears throat> pick them ourselves. Let's do... Scorcher for some damage. Let's do invisibility because we didn't take hide and shadows and all. We're not going to need knock because we got maxed out open locks. Let's grab mirror image. Just a classically good spell. Web is actually kind of good too, but we'll get that later. Uh, level 3 spells. Let's... We only picked 3 of them. Alright, let's grab fireball for AoE. Let's grab... I guess monster summoning so we can have some you know tanks in the party. Uh, maybe Skull Trap to set up some traps. We, 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 don't, we don't have the uh, trap skill learned yet. We don't need Dispel yet. Maybe Flame Arrow for single target? Nah, we don't need that. Lightning Bolt would be good in hallways. Eh. I guess Skull Trap is fine. Okay, so what ones start memorized? I guess we'll do a Familiar, <coughs> and we'll do... Some magic missiles, level two. We'll do some scorchers. I guess one scorcher and a, ma and a mirror image. Uh, level three, we can do fireball and skull. No, let's do fireball and monster summoning. <coughs> okay, so appearance. Uh, let's do a pale, kind of like a drow. Let's do blue hair to be cool. Let's the armor. I mean, blue is fine. That's fine. We're going to use the male Let's two voice. This quick and painful. I guess that's, my, that's one I like a lot. And then name, I guess we are Sinzar. And there we go. There is our thing. We're going to do core rules slightly higher. We're not going for like Legacy of Ball. We're not going for a show off. That would be very slow. A lot of reloading. We're going to go with just core rules. So venture forth. <clears throat> and now we start. This is when we wake up captured at the beginning of the game. Our whole party is captured. Notice people in the cages and all that. And here is the bad guy of the game. Ah, the child of Ball has awoken. It is time for more experiments. The pain will only be passing. You should survive the process. He, he's, a, he's such a jerk. <laughs> he's so mean. He's torturing us. You have much untapped power. <laughs> Do you even realize your potential? Okay. More intruders have entered the complex, Master. They act sooner than we had anticipated. No matter, they will only prove a slight delay. Okay, you're about to get control of our character. And 
here's Emwyn, our half sister. Wake up, you! Wake up! Come on! Or, we have to get out of here. Yeah, half sister. Uh, anyway, so as far as like the normal dialogue of the game, I'm gonna be skipping through a huge part of it. We're not gonna read every single line. We'd be here for a hundred hours. Um, so I'm just gonna like let the dialogue be done for like the main core storyline. But all the side questing, all this little flavor dialogue, we're not going to spend a lot of time. I'll summarize the important stuff. So, Emma Wynn was in another cell. She, she escaped. She's, she's a thief, by the way. She escaped. She's freeing us. And you can, like, ask her what happened in part one of the game for people that didn't play it. But we're going to just skip through this and be like, you know, I don't remember what's going on. Blah, blah, blah. Let's get out of here. Let's escape. There we go. I hope this is so... Um, first of all, we're going to change our AI script on our character to Thief Controlled. That way he always detects for traps when we are just roaming around. Um, notice how we're moving very quickly uh, outside of combat, because that's just the modifier, we, the mod we're using. Now, I am going to, real quick, go over here and grab a weapon. Uh, is the right one? Yeah, longsword. And we are going to kill Emowyn. This is very, very mean of me, but it's for a reason. I want to be a, um, a single character during this game, a single uh, player. I don't want to party. She's forced in the party. You cannot remove her. But for storyline reasons, she's not allowed to die. So if she gets low in health, she'll retreat and she'll meet you outside the dungeon. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just, like, fight her. And because my combat skills are pretty terrible, we're going to nuke her with magic until she runs away. When she gets low in health. Because I want her out of here. We don't want to share, we don't want to share our experience. <laughs> Hit her again. Don't let me suffer in this place. And let's... Yep. Let's have her get over here so I don't hit myself. And we're going to... Wait, hold on. Ah, I haven't played in a while. I forgot, I forgot the hockeys. Alright, let's fireball her. And that should make her run away. No, no, no. I'm not dying here. There you go. I'm not. Oh, my head hurts. I have to get to the surface. I have to go. And she runs away. She leaves the party. I'm waiting. There we go. Now the experience is all ours. Now these these little party members locked in the cage still, uh, Jahira and Minsk. We're gonna we're gonna come back for them before we leave the dungeon. We don't want to leave them here to die, but we're not gonna let them out of their cage because again they join your party forcibly when you free them. So we're gonna leave them caged up while we do the first level of the dungeon all by ourselves. But like I said, we are going to modify our stats as if we played through the first game because in the first game you get permanent boost to all stats by plus one and then wisdom by plus three from the first game so we're gonna go ahead and modify that real quick and i'm gonna give myself a bag of holding and that's the only modifiers we're going to be doing so see you in a second after that is done all right guys so here we go i have edited my game um, as you can see, I added one extra stat to all my primary stats and then three extra stats to Wisdom as if we had played through the original game and imported our character, which was expected. And then I gave myself a empty bag of holding, which will allow me to <clears throat> um, avoid just a lot of backtracking over and over and over. But... There we go. There we go. So that is the only kind of like, you know, quote unquote cheating we're going to be doing. It's not really cheating because we played through the first game. We'd have the same stats. Anyway, let's great. now get through it. So we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to fill my inventory real quick because I want to summon a familiar and I want them to uh, be in a specific spot. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. Let's see. There we go. The tech traps. Let's disarm that trap. Let's unlock this. Grab some more stuff out of here. I need one, two, three more items. There we go. So now my inventory is one slot over because, because once a familiar goes in your backpack, you can't move it anymore, and I want it in that specific spot. <coughs> so we're going to go ahead and summon a familiar. I think we get a dust method for being neutral evil. 
there we go. There's our familiar, and that has boosted our HP because you get half of your familiar's HP. So now we're at 58 HP, but now we're going to tell the familiar to go into my pack and just sit there, and for the rest of the game, that's going to be our familiar. He's going to sit in the pack and basically just give us 12 extra HP for free. That is it. That is it. We're never going to use them again. Um, now, as far as the rest of this stuff, let's put that up there. Uh, we're not going to use armor because, unfortunately, we are a mage, which we don't want to use armor for them. So we'll stick all this back in here. We're not going to worry about non-magical weapons. Actually, that's magical. We're going to keep that. <coughs> and yeah, and we want to grab this key. I think I grabbed all of this. I did. So, what is this? A magical dagger? We can stick this up here. We can stick this up here. We're going to grab a bow soon. Oh, oh well. Uh, I didn't mean to carry this too. We'll hold that. Stick all that. And we'll just get rid of these. We can't wear that. Okay. Now we're going to rest. But before we do, let me adjust my spells. We don't need familiar anymore. We'll grab another magic missile. <coughs> and yeah, so we're going to go ahead and rest. Now, for the starter dungeon... You can rest completely free. There is no chance of random encounters. Once we get out of the starter dungeon, resting in the wild does have a chance of uh, being ambushed during the night. But for the beginning game, not really a problem. So over here, and again, I'm going to be using my metagame knowledge of oh, having played this before to know where some encounters are. So it's going to look like, why are you shooting a fireball around a corner? Nothing's there. But I know something is there. Anyway, for this one, this little generator will summon methods. We need to run in here and turn off the generator right over here so it doesn't summon anymore. And there we go. No more summon. Now we're going to go ahead and just do some, <coughs> some damage. And like I said, we're going to be very weak in the early game. Let's See if we can hit him with... Got him. Okay, yep. Not a problem. Uh, so in this room, there's going to be a... Let's do this. There's going to be a genie that comes out and asks us some questions. So, what's going on? Don't care. And let's ask for the question. So the question is... Um, so you and your sibling are captured and locked in separate cells, unable to communicate. It's the usual prisoner dilemma question. Um, the mage asked you, if you push the button and your sibling does not, you will die, but your sibling is free. If he pushes the button and you don't, they will die, but you go free. If neither push, you will both die. So what do you do? And if both of you push, both of you will die. So I'm going to go ahead and just push the button, even though it's like the good response. Um, and because of that, we're gonna fight a, I forget, an ogre mage, which kind of hard actually. Um, we should be fine. It's a, it's intended to be pretty easy to kill. I think he doesn't actually use mage skills on you. <laughs> uh, let's just nuke him down with magic missile. And this is actually not a real fight. It's like an illusion fight. So, yeah, it's pretty easy. He's still not dead, really. Nuke him again. There he goes. We win. And we get more experience doing it that way. I think the other choice was less experience. So there we go. And again, because we're in the starter dungeon, I'm going to be resting a lot. It's instant, and it refills all the magic. <coughs> so over here... We are going to shoot a fireball into this goblin pack. Uh-oh, they saw me, actually. And we killed pretty much all the goblins. Super easy. Uh, all right, let's grab... I want to grab their arrows. I, I, want, I want some arrows. Apparently they weren't archers. I thought they were. I'll see to it. I can't get it. Oh, here we go. Arrows and short bow. Perfect. And we'll grab some more arrows. And as you can see, the arrows are stacking beyond 20 because we're using a mod to make stacking <clears throat> nice and easy. All right, so over here, <coughs> we're going to come down and fight this guy. I think he blinds us if, he, if we fail to save. We did, ouch. Thankfully the blind is very tem it's temporary. It only lasts like a moment or two. We'll nuke him again, magic missile. 
And let's use our short sword. Or long sword. Got him. Easy. Alright, there's the blind. It's gone away. <clears throat> there's a trap in here somewhere, I remember. Alright, another goblin. Uh, we can just, like, nuke him. Actually, I think he's immune to fire. Ice method? No, it's not. I'm not, I'm not sure why I thought that. Yeah, we can scorch him. <laughs> Got him. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So I'm pretty sure one of these is trapped. Sure is. I haven't played this game in years, but I have a good memory. Give me some gets done. So there is our quarter staff plus one. It's magical, so we can go ahead and just toss this one. Uh, I don't care about bullets. I don't care about all these little things. You can talk to these little cells and get like you know storyline, but I already know what's going on. Basically, the the captor that captured us is Irenicus, and he experiments on all these poor people locked in the capsules, and he was doing the same thing to us. He's like an evil mage that does mean things. I can't see the guy. Come on. Come out here. Where you at? Where you at? I didn't kill him, did I? No, I didn't kill him. Where the hell is he? Is he behind the door? I didn't kill this guy. Where did he go? I'm so confused. Where'd he go? <coughs> well, whatever. All right, there. I think there's a trap in here too. Let's detect for a few seconds. Hmm, maybe not. All right. Uh, let's see. Longbow. We're not gonna be using longbows. We're using short bows. Uh, there's a spell for us. Let's grab this right here. Anything magical? Yeah, magical plus one. We want that. And. Unlock this. More spells. That magical. Nope. Alright, we can learn the spells and get experience for that. Also, we can, you know, scribe them if we really want to. Put this up here. Let's put this <coughs> back in here. And we're going to pickpocket the golem. So this golem doesn't get mad if you fail pickpocketing. Oh, we got it the first try, actually. And that'll give us a sewage golem key. Um... Yeah, and I don't know where that stupid method went. That's that's so weird that he disappeared. I have no idea where he went. Oh well, whatever. Who cares? We lost experience though. So these guys, we're gonna need to kill them later. But we're gonna go level up first, and I'll I'll, I'll explain why when we get to it. Um, around the corner. Let's drop a fireball. Don't hit me yet. Okay, that worked. You can kill him with physical. Yeah, the the early dungeon is very very simple. Um. I should really hotkey a magic missile, huh? Right, I don't think I need this many... This many arrows, but it doesn't hurt. Uh, we can just rest again, because why not? And more goblins. We can fireball again. Oh, we, oh shoot! We got spell interrupted. That's not good. That was my only AoE. Um... That's a slow casting spell. Oh god, we got interrupted. I didn't really expect that. Let's. Okay, this is not good. We had one AOE spell. <laughs> that'll be. That'll hit him in a. Are you kidding me? You little shitter! Oh my god, we're dying. And we can use a ball spawn ability. Let's use Larlix Minor Drain. Get a little bit of HP back. Oh my lord. Spell interrupted yet again. The stupid archer is destroying me. Dude. Alright, let you can play this game. I got a bow too. Oh shoot. Oh my god. Drink a potion. Are you kidding me? Alright, hold on. Let's go around the corner. 
If you hit me, I swear. Oh, I, I can't believe this. This 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 goblin is is gonna die right here, jerk. All right, hold on. I have one spell left. All right, we got mirror image, and we chunked that little nerd. Oh my lord! I almost died to goblins. Are you kidding me? So ridiculous. We <laughs> rested for 12 days. Thankfully, time doesn't really matter in this game. You know, we, we can take we can take years to finish the finish the quest. It doesn't matter. Uh. I think there's a, uh oh yeah, relev. Um, and we get we get some lore here. Who's the master? Release. Yes. Right. Master, I, I no he wants to be killed. To All right, so we killed him. He's he's now dead. We took his life support. You know, he asked for it, so you know, whatever. Uh, let's see here. Grab some potions. Let's grab the activation stone, which we can use on the golem, I believe. <coughs> um, I can't believe that goblin fight almost killed us. That's so ridiculous. Alright, let's go up here. Alright, more goblins. We're gonna nuke right here. And goblin's dead. Got him! Got him! Oh, not all of them. Got him. Alright, alright. Oh, there's another one. Oh, shoot! Oh, it's a method. Never mind. I thought it was a goblin wizard or something. Oh, he's not dead. <coughs> oh shoot, another one's coming. Alright, this is a problem. Um... Kind of a waste to missile him at that low health, but we need to... Alright. What kind of is he? Is he a mineral? I think they're immune to... Fire. So we're gonna come on. Don't don't interrupt my spell. All right, good. Now we can fight him <clears throat> hand to hand. Thankfully, because we've got 19 strength, uh, we've got a decent decent damage if we hit. You know that was a miss. Come on. Yeah, combat is physical combat is very slow at the lower levels, <clears throat> and we missed again. Seriously. Come on. There we go. I wonder if we can nuke him again. Alright. One more hit, he should be dead. Critical miss. Perfect. Come on, dude. Swing your sword, please. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, let's rest. Uh, let's go ahead and check all this stuff. There's a, there's a few scrolls in here somewhere. Scroll. Perfect. Um, scroll and potion. Perfect. Uh, potion. Oil of Haste. That's actually pretty good. You can use that in a hard fight. Get an extra attack per turn. Alright, potion. Alright. Put this. Learn some spells. Give us some experience. Alright. Um, still not leveled up yet. That's fine. Um, this guy shouldn't be too bad. Oh, wait, hold on. Are we gonna scorcher him? They're weak to fire, I believe. <laughs> Come on. Alright, um... I was hoping he'd take more damage. Alright, he's almost dead. Oh, we're poisoned, damn it. And slowed, wow. Oh, he's not dead yet? Oh, we're so slow! Alright, hold on. He can't he can't come he he can't get up the stairs, thankfully. Alright, got him. 
Oh, we're so slow right now. Because of the debuffs. <coughs> Got a key. We can rest. Alright, there's a trap in one of these. I remember this. We're detecting. Hold on, there it is. So disarm the trap. Open the door. Open the chest. And grab this. We can't use helm. Is this a magical helm? It is. We can sell that. So we're going to just stick that in the bag to sell later. Scribe a spell. Uh, scribe a spell. Potions. Potions. I think Splint Mail is worth a decent amount of money, so we'll sell that too. Um, alright. <clears throat> Let's come up here. Uh, goblins, we can... Fireball. Got him. Alright. Up here is another room of traps. I don't think there's an enemy in here. Oh, freaking... I knew I, I walked right on it, too. Alright. Oh my god, another trap. And part of the issue with the traps is that because we triggered them, we're not disarming them and we're losing experience, which kind of sucks. Uh, another helm that we can't use. We'll stick that there. These are quest items. We can rest here. Um, <clears throat> so there's a quest for these. Let me think. Uh, what are we doing right now? We want to go through the library, through the air portal. Um, let's go talk to these, these girls. Me. Yeah, these are like captured sirens or whatever, or dryads from Irenicus. Uh, Irenicus is the bad guy, in case I didn't mention that. Um, yeah, I'll help. How can I help you? You want me to bring your acorns to the Dryad Queen or whatever? Then I'll do it. And there we go. So we got the acorns. Or did we? Oh, that's right. The, 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 the dwarf guy has them. I have to go get them from the dwarf. Okay. So down here... If we go in here, it triggers an alarm, and these golems uh, that are in this room will come attack us at the same time, and they're very strong. So we're going to keep exploring and leveling up, and then we will come back to that room later, because we do not want to fool with that right now. Uh, let's go in here, possibly kill some goblins. They're not always spawned. They're not spawned. Yeah, we're not going to go upstairs yet. So, more more spells. Uh, I think we, we already know both of these spells, so we're going to do a trick. We're going to unlearn armor. You can do this. You can remove armor from your book, and we can remove fireball from the book, and then learn them again to get the experience. And let's go ahead and put fireball back in our memorize, and then rest. <coughs> okay. Um... I think there's some goblins through this way, so we're going to go ahead and go kill them. Oh, it's just a method. He's invisible. Damn it. There he is. Alright. Nuke him. Come on. Oh my god, we're blind. Alright, what is your spells? We're really taking advantage of the fact that we can just rest infinitely in this starter dungeon. Alright, um... Let's go over here and explore a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, we're moving very quickly because of the, the mod. The mod. It's just convenience, like I said. You know, in, in combat, the mod auto disables. As you notice, I'll be slow down in combat. That way to keep it, you know, nice and fair. Uh, there's a trap in this hallway. I don't remember where it is. I think it's like right here. 
we're not finding it. Maybe it's not there. I thought there was a trap in this hallway. Alright, there's the dwarves, unfortunately. Um We're gonna we're gonna adjust our spells a little bit. We're gonna take an armor spell. We're gonna We're gonna take skull traps. Man, I really wanted to level up before fighting these dwarves. Is there anywhere to level? No. It's because we missed all that experience on the traps earlier. We should have been just enough to level. But... Oh, we're ready to level. What am I talking about? I didn't even realize we were ready. Okay, so we got new spells. Yeah, our, our, our wizard level went up. So, okay, so now we can... Do some more spells here. And a level 4 spell. Oh, we don't have any level 4 spells learned. We haven't found any scrolls yet. That's fine. We'll find some later. Uh... Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to drop some skull traps in here. Oh god, I didn't realize they were already that close. Um, but it didn't piss them off. Oh yeah, it did. <laughs> okay. You're going to rest? I mean, that was not what I intended, but... It works! We got another one, wow. Oh, he's pissed. Oh, he's mad. Um. Uh, give me the acorns. Yeah, this is the, the acorns that the, the dryads want. Alright, oh, more of them are coming? Okay, so we can just skull trap down there. Oh god, hold on. Ah! Okay, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. <clears throat> Alright, he's berserked. Oh shoot, a bunch of them are coming. Um... Let's bez let's scorcher the... There's so many! Alright, and then we can missile him. Oh, it's another, another, another wizard. Uh-oh. Um, let's magic missile some of his illusions away. <clears throat> oh, he f screwed up my spell. Damn it. Um, no, you know what I can do? I can run down here and... Oh my god, he interrupted my spell again. We're drinking a potion. We're drinking a potion. Drink a potion, damn it! Drink it! Alright, the good news is he's gonna run out of spells in a minute. Drink potion. Drink potion. Alright, he's out of spells at this point, I'm pretty sure. So now we can just go and attack him. And I'm pretty sure I'm a better physical attacker than he is. <laughs> oh, he drank a potion too! What a jerk! Dude, where are you going? Yeah. <laughs> Critical hit. Get wrecked. Alright, alright. So we killed the Duragar fight, which was a little bit of a tricky fight, because there's a lot of them in there. Um, hold on. Wasn't there two? Yeah, right here. Oh, no, not that. Right there. Okay, give me that money. I love money. There's the acorns we needed. There we go. Let's go ahead and rest real quick. Uh, I'm, like, almost certain there's a trap in here somewhere. What is this? Throwing axes? Don't care. More helmet. Chainmail? I don't think chainmail is worth that much. They're not going to bother. Don't care about darts. Anything down here. Don't care about any of that. Potion. I have enough arrows. Alright. Um, so right here, we can open this with the air elemental statue. 
One of these halls had a trap somewhere. I don't know where it is. <clears throat> so we're walking very slowly trying to find that trap. There it is! I knew there was a trap from years and years ago when I played this. Alright, so this guy, the Cambion, um, when you release him, he comes at you, and he's a little bit of turkey to fight. So I don't want to fight him just yet. Let's go back to these girls. And give them our uh, their acorns. Well, we're not going to give it to them. We're going to show it to them. And then, 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 then she's going to say, take the acorns to the Dryad Queen in a, a faraway land. We'll, we'll, we'll get there way later in the game. Yeah, Windspear, Windspear Hills. Uh, another level up. <clears throat> now, this should be a level up for our rogue. Yes. So... I think we're going to do set snares because that cambion is going to be a little tricky. And we get a new weapon type. I think we're going to go with single wield style, which allows me to backstab pretty well. Or two-handed weapon style. Hmm. Now nah, we're going to do single wield style. Yeah, so short bow, quarter staff, and long sword. Well, you know, maybe dual wield style. It would take a lot of points to master it, so three points, and then we want katana for the, the fury thing. Hmm. I don't know. Katana's really good for that fury katana we're going to get later in the game. The celestial fury, I think it's called. Well, for now, let's go... Well... I don't know. I guess we can just I guess we can dual wield long swords for now. That's not the worst. Single weapon's good for backstabbing. Cuz if we get a crit, we can like go crazy. Ah, uh, but dual wield's way better for damage per turn. I think we're going to go two weapon style for now. Because once you max it out... Actually, it only takes two points to go to zero on the main hand. So yeah, we're going to go with the dual wield style. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's put the quarterstaff in the main hand and we're going to go fight these well not yet let's go do the air domain first actually no let's, let's, let's go down here and try to fight these I, 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 I think we're going to be okay I think we're going to be okay we can use some spells to buff up and we can even set some traps Trap failed. Trap failed. We can try again. Yeah, we're, we're like, like I said, we're, we're really taking advantage of being able to rest infinitely. We have one trap set. Let's do one more. Actually, by memory, I think these are even immune to piercing. So it's not even going to work. Right. Let's do armor. All right, we're save. We're gonna save because I'm I'm worried we're gonna die. Let's do this quick and. And here we go. It is me versus you, dude. All right, the trap did work. So that's good to know. Oh God. Come on. I should have done mirror image too. Oh shoot. If we die, I'll just reload it. Okay. 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 <laughs> Whoops. The trap is set and ready. Alright, so we have two traps good to go. Let's try this again. Let's do this quick and painful. And then the trap. Yeah, okay, so that worked. 
we like really cheat. We're, we're really cheesing this, but that's part of the game is using using you know intelligent yeah, tactics. All right, here we go. Kill the other, kill the other guardian golem, and if the traps go off. We win. That was so cheesed. Oh my lord. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, so let's go back to the master bedroom for Arenicus. Um, and we can loot it now. And then when we walk in, the alarm's gonna sound, but the golems that would answer the alarm are dead. So we can just loot it to our heart's content. Uh, let's put our longsword back on. Alright, so there's a lot of, there's like a lot of traps. You see that? The alarm sounds, but because we, we took care of the golems, we're fine. So lots of traps in here. There's, there's even more. Yeah, a lot of traps in this room. Irenicus don't like you fooling around in his bedroom. But we're going to steal this. 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 Uh, let's see. Oh, God, we didn't get them all. We missed a trap. All right, let's stick the acorns in the bag for later. Learn some spells. Mantra summoning one. We already know it. So we can unlearn it and then learn it again. Uh, put on a bracer. Let's see, stick this for later. Oh, I forgot about that. Put up that necklace we could have worn. Whoops. That means we can learn a new level two spell. Yeah, let's learn invisibility. We'll probably use that later. Let's get rid of one of these skull traps for a fireball. We still have no level four spells. Kind of sucks. All right, I think we got everything, right? Oh, we missed that that thieving potion. Yeah, we'll grab that. We'll stick this in the bag for later. Okay, now let's go kill that Cambian. He's actually kind of hard too. Oh, you know what? Okay, so if we can steal this genie thing it'll save time later so we're gonna we're gonna try it might piss them off if it does we'll just they have no items no items okay so we can't we can't steal from them because our, our pickpocket is too low that's fine yeah one of those has a, a genie bottle that we need for a quest in a few minutes we got to backtrack and get it but it shouldn't take too long we're moving very quickly because of the mod so, let's go over here and lay some traps, I think. And we're going to fight the Cambion and then run him into the traps up here. Trap set. And one more should be good. If it failed, it should be fine. We'll save it just in case. I'll put some armor on. Some spell. Alright, let's go ahead and free him by turning this knob here. And now he's gonna come after us because he's a jerk. I freed you, bro, and you're gonna come after me now? All right. Oh, that wasn't very much, that wasn't very strong. Uh. Don't hit me. All right, he's almost dead. He's not actually that bad. He does a lot of damage though if he actually hits. Thankfully, he missed every attack, so that was fine. Uh, and he has... the Bastard Sword plus one and Chainmail Armor. So magical weapons are worth a lot of money. We'll sell that later. Alright, now let's go into the Air Elemental Domain I'll see you for another quest. And some spells. Ah! Oh, got another one. Oh, shoot. Damn it. We can't do spells like that. Where is he at? Oh, they're both here. Um, let's try to kill the weak one. Got him. So he's got permanent blur, I believe. We'll use magic missile. 
It's failed. Get him! Come on. Got him. Alright. Let's go up here. Oh, more methods. It's fine. More of them? Come on. This spell is ruined. Can't interrupt my spell. I hate that. Okay. Hold still. Are they healing? I think he's regenerating. Don't run away. Come on, don't run. Stop it. Please swing your sword. You're so slow. Got him. Alright. This guy. Smoke method? I don't I think he's immune to fire. So annoying, I swear. <laughs> These blind methods. Alright. One more hit, he should be dead. One more hit, he should be dead. Please stop missing. Please stop missing. Dude, don't kill me. Really? I rolled a three. Three plus five. Can you please hit him? For more damage than that. Come on. I don't get some healing. This Got him. Gonna be a real <laughs> okay. Trip. Uh, let's see if this has a trap on it. I don't remember if it does or doesn't. Looks okay. Alright, and this is a high level spell. Level 6 spell. So we're gonna. Oh, we leveled up. Awesome. Uh, we leveled up as a mage. Okay, so we have more spell slots now. Um, <coughs> fireball, I guess. Still have no level four spells. That kind of sucks. We gotta find some spells. All right, up here there's some methods. So we're going to try to get an oh immune to damage, of course. Because it's fire damage. Not immune to that, though. <laughs> Killed all three of them. Wow. Oh, not quite. Oh, wow, there's a bunch of them up here. Seriously? Okay, so that's all the little bad guys for this little mini dungeon, and over here we get <coughs> this little quest thing. Uh, get something that belongs to me. And they want to go get the, his little genie bottle from the Dryads. And if I, if I could have pickpocketed it earlier with pickpocket skill, it would have saved me a backtrack, but it's, it's fine. It'll take like... 30 seconds to run run back there. Uh, yeah, we're going to the Dryads, and we ask them, hey, can I have that genie bottle? And they're like, sure. All right. <clears throat> and almost there. I search for a flask. And there we go. And we get the genie bottle, and we run all the way back. <laughs> Very exciting. Okay. Once we get out of this dungeon, we can go to the city and buy buy some like new spells and stuff. I'm there. 
Uh, this is going to give us a, if I remember correctly, a, like a bastard sword. But we're not going to be using that. We can sell it. There we go. We got uh, the Sword of Chaos plus two is a two-handed sword. My bad. Um, it's actually a really good weapon, too. It's just that we can't use two-handers because we're, we're a mage thief. Yeah, if we, we played a fighter mage thief, that would have been where it's at. That would have been, like, awesome. Really, really good. Uh, but anyway, so now we're finished on the first floor of the dungeon. So we have to go back to if it must be here and free them before we go upstairs. Otherwise, they're lost forever. Yeah, we're almost back. All right, so... Let's see here. We must get out of here before whoever did this returns. Uh, I swear. And Jahira is one of the like romanceable companions, but we're not gonna be fooling that in this game. Uh. All right, so she's on the party, and I think we can dismiss her right away, and not have a penalty. So reform party, dismiss Jahira. I think she'll meet us, like, in the city. This, this is unexpected. I had yeah, and she tells you if you dismiss her, like, you know, I'm cutting you off, you know, we're, we're not, we're not going to be, we're not going to be romance anymore, but I don't care. Uh, this is not easy, but it is necessary. Okay, there we go. So she runs away. And then Minsk... <sighs> Uh, if, if you piss free. him off, he like breaks His, his own cage. Will not hold my wrath, but so will be liberally kicked in good measure. The Ooh. There we go. Ooh. All right, so join me. You are a smart one. I understand now. There we go. So he joins the party, just to get me and mad. now we. Bad enough to break free. <laughs> He's got boo, but uh, no, we're doing we're doing a solo run, bro. So let's get you out of the party. And goodbye. Boo needs to know. Did you want us to remain with the group? All right, and he'll meet us at a tavern later, but we're not going to be picking him back up. Okay, let's go upstairs. Uh, we found the key earlier on, by the way. Oh, there is sanity. And here's another uh, another guy. If you are not in league with the evil that dwells in this unholy place, Yoshimo begs your assistance. Uh, let's see here. I'd please to have you join me. Yeah, we're taking these these people, and then we're going to dismiss them so they meet us at a tavern later. Uh, you have anything I want to steal? Yeah, give me your arrows. Not that I really need them, but... I mean, we're, we're never going to use him, so... Yeah, give me that to sell. Anyway, let's go ahead and dismiss you as well. We don't want to share our experience. I do not wish to end our pairing before our tasks are done. So perhaps our rest is in order. I'm sure you want to there we go. <laughs> and he'll meet us at a tavern later. Okay. Perfect. More spells for us. When's our next level up? 5300 XP? It's not, it's not far at all. Okay, so... Let's see here. Oh, okay, God. So this one, we've got to go and turn off... This is kind of a pain in the ass. we got to turn off these portals... Before they or they they keep spawning. Come on, swing, damn it! Yeah. All right, so one portal's dead, and that kills the method when they, when it, when you do that. I can't see the portal because I'm blinded. Please stop hitting me. God. I wonder if these portals can be hit with magic. Better question is, can I get a spell off with all these things attacking me? Nope! Spell failure. Alright. Oh my god. 
Drink a potion. This is so irritating. Please die. Please die. <coughs> there we go. And he'll die in a second. We killed his portal. There it is. Okay. Okay. Uh, we leveled up. So we leveled up as a thief. Let's level up set snares. You know what? Let's level up Detect Illusions to 50%. Just, just we have a 50-50, and then we can do that and rest here. And right here, this dead guy is Khalid, uh, Jahira's husband, um, and he's dead. So, yeah, that's ironic. As he, he's a main character from the first game. Uh, does not get a repeat in the second game. Sad face for him. And if Jahira, if y'all didn't kick her out of the party, she'd like really throw a bitch fit right here about her husband being killed and tortured. But, uh, you know, feels bad for her. So actually I did her a favor by kicking her out of the party before having to see her husband dead. So, you know, I'm a nice guy. I'll grab that too. Uh, what is this? Curse Scroll of Weakness? No, thank you. Yeah, like I said, I, I identified all the items through a modifier. Um, through a, a player mod. It's just convenience. It's, it saves time not having to see or ID everything. Uh, let's see here. Grab all this. Grab all this. Actually, is that a cursed potion? No. We'll sell all those gems and all when we get out of here. Another key. Bastard sword. Alright. We're gonna save the game because this is a vampire by memory. And they drain health. I wanna kill her. Oh, it's an escaped clone. Never mind. I thought it was a vampire. Okay, so if you played the first game, uh, doppelgangers and clones were like a really big deal in the first game. They were like part of the conspiracy. Oh my god, what? Oh, lightning bolt. What a jerk face. We died. Thankfully, I saved it right before coming in. I, 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 I knew this fight was hard. Yeah, come on, let me load my game. Yes, we're dead. I, I get it. <laughs> I hope this is worth it. Um, you know what we can do is we can set a snare. Oh, failed. Jerk. Set it again. There we go. And we will... Let me, let me do this too. This girl's a jerk. Are they still fighting? Really? <laughs> Whatever. No one crosses the shadow thief. Yeah, we cheesed that pretty hard. Yeah, she's supposed to kill the thief she's fighting and then come after me, but because she kept missing the thief, she never got to. That was sort of hilarious. Okay, well, I won't complain. Free win. Alright, let's go through here. Um Let's do this quick and <laughs> painful. See if I can yeah. <laughs> kill this method. Come on, kill him! Damn it! If I had killed him, oh shoot, I'm not, I'm not fighting. If I had killed the method before the thief died, I would have gotten, gotten to kill the thief too for experience. Oh well, or, or maybe I got the experience for it. I didn't even notice. I might have. I don't know. And yeah, the reason the thieves are fighting is like the shadow thieves are against Irenicus, and they're trying to uh, kill him, basically. <laughs> You'll see a lot more of that later in the game. Alright. There we go. Do a little bit of rest real quick. Uh, goblins! Let's fireball you. Oh, come on, get the quicker! Thank you. Thank you. I'm not gonna. I'm not, I'm not gonna worry about looting them. I, I have plenty of uh, arrows. Pretty sure there's a trap in this hallway. We're gonna wait five seconds. Five, yep, there it is. 
Thought so. Let me rest real quick. And there's a lot of traps in this hallway from those wands. And we're gonna play Archer Archer Battle. Yeah, there's traps, but I'm not walking out there. Cause these little hold on, kill him first. Got him. All right, these wands are traps, and but but I, I have the keys from all these dungeons. Like these little keys we've been looting, these are the keys to un, to to turn off these traps. So we're fine. Uh, let's turn off a trap here. All right, turn off one here. Turn off one here. And we're getting wands too, which is kind of nice. And there's none up there. Yeah, so we actually got a bunch of wands from doing that, which is kind of awesome. Uh, this was the portal key, the sewage key, another wand. Yeah, so the, those are not important for now. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a trap over there, but before we do hands, let's go ahead and loot these guys. <coughs> Alright. Disarm traps. Give it five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. See him safe. Ring of protection. Perfect. Ring of the princes. Uh, so in here is a vampire who is kind of a jerk face. So we're going to set a trap and fail. We're going to set a trap again and fail. Awesome. Should be Let fine. Let me have a taste. Come. Alright. Wait, is she coming for me? Oh god. No, she's not. Yeah, she's killing the, the thieves. Yeah, vampires are pretty hard. But I'm gonna see if we, we're gonna see if we can gang up on her before before she gets to us. And the vampires and all, like in the starter dungeon, are obviously weaker than normal vampires. We're gonna be fighting a bunch of regular vampires in the game. That's like a whole storyline thing too. Did she just run away? Oh, she turned the she turned to mist. Yeah, when you kill when you hit vampires, they turn to mist, and they go to their coffin, and you gotta stake them in their coffin. Uh, but obviously we can't do that in the starter dungeon. But that'll be that'll be a thing later on. Uh, goblins, let's go ahead and nuke you. Easy. Goblins are easy. Um. Oh shoot! 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 Ah! Oh, get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here. Uh, set a trap right here. I trigger my own trap. Whoops. Alright. See if we can Aganar scorcher him. Get him? Let's do this. Quick and pain. Got him. All right. Yeah. Not not too bad. We're pretty strong at this point because we're we're, we're a solo character and we're leveling a little bit past the point where you're expected to be in this dungeon. But uh, you're also expected to have a party of let me see, Imowen, Minsk, Jahira, and Yo Yo Yoshimbo, Yojimbo or whatever, Yoshi Yoshi Yoshiki. I don't know the Yoshi guy. Um, you're supposed to have all of them in your party at this point in the game. So it's supposed to be a party of like five people. And I, I'm soloing it. I'm looking for traps. Must not be a trap. Alright, no trap, I guess. Grab all this. Alright, uh... Destroyer of the Hills. Oh! Good dealt for us. Grab a splint mail. Splint mail sell pretty well. Let's put a belt on. Okay, uh, so that room is done. Let's go to this room. Get rest too. <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit tricky once we get out of the starter dungeon. We can't just rest for free anymore. 
but we'll, we'll, we'll have gotten through the city and we'll get, uh, you know, some gear and all that. Alright. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, this guy is a, a doppelganger. And he's gonna train, he's gonna doppelgang to a different thing. Yeah, uh, like I said, the, the original game, doppelgangers were like a big part of the plot. So, that's why he's like, I hate doppelgangers, leave me alone. <laughs> things. Breed and sell. Yeah, we're gonna go in there, and we're gonna kill them. It's just I'm getting ready. Invisibility is not... There is in our spellbook already. Later on, we're not gonna bother all this, like, relearning stuff, but for the early game, I really want that experience. And that's a priest spell. We'll save that for later. Okay, so let's go ahead and set a trap if we can. The trap is set. Make him nice and easy to kill. Save me, dear sir. Please save me. Mm. Oh god, he barely, barely took any damage. Uh, should I have laid more traps? Nah, it's fine. Ow. Bulky. Come on, swing your sword. Oh my god. And magic missile one more time. Got him. And... <clears throat> Let's see. Should be a trap in here somewhere. There it is. Uh, let's see what we can get here. Loot. Loot. Wait, is that cursed? Cursed. I don't want that. Alright. More spells. More spells. More spells. Potions. Potions. And that's basically it. We are almost done the first dungeon. Just a few more fights, and then we're good to go. Easy fights. Hi, friend. Uh, yeah, the assassin doesn't believe me. I don't really care. It can't do this. No Let's see if we can... Got him. Ah, what a jerk. Alright, let's go. New chem. Got him. Not bad, not bad at all. Uh, yeah, so during the game, you've got an option to either ally with the Shadow Thieves or ally with the Vampires. Uh, we're going to ally with the Shadow Thieves, I'll just tell you now. It's the the right call. The, va the Vampire allies are fun too, but spoiler, they betray you later. Whereas the Shadow Thieves do not, so we're going with the Shadow Thieves. Alright, let's get out of here. And we're going to get a little bit of storyline. So now we're coming to the entrance of Irenicus' dungeon. Uh, where, uh, what's her name? Imowen, remember the, the girl from the beginning, where she ran off to? And this is where Irenicus is. He's outside fighting the Shadow Thieves. And let's go upstairs. The tunnel slopes upward into the welcome glare of daylight. Such is your relief that you barely notice the debris at your feet. The remnants of a battle fought only moments before. Surveying the carnage, you hear a scream of rage, and a massive explosion collapses the passage behind you. The sounds of combat greet you as you struggle to your feet. The fight, it seems, is still going strong. Yeah, so all this is happening during the Shadow Thieves, like, assault on Arenicus' uh, house or whatever, his dungeon. Um, and we just happen to be trying to break out during their, their assault. So, here you go. You dare to attack me here. No one Do you even know who you face? 
will suffer. You will all suffer. There go the shadow so, thieves. God child, you have escaped. You are more resourceful than I had thought. You're not going to torture us any longer. Torture? Silly girl, you just don't understand what I'm doing, do you? I don't care what you're doing. Let us go. I won't let you leave, not when I'm so close to unlocking your power. We don't want anything from you. Enough. I will no longer listen to the babbling of ignorant children. This is an unsanctioned use of magical. Oh, I should have explained that. All involved. Spellcasting is illegal this in this city. FYI. Is over. Must I be interrupted and in return? Enough of this. This mage's power is immense. We must overcome him quickly. Enough. I haven't the time for this. You will. Cease your spell casting and come with us. Your pathetic magics are useless. Let this end. Even if we fall, our numbers are many. You will be overwhelmed. You bore me, Majely. <laughs> you may take me in, but you will take the girl as well. What? No. I've done nothing wrong. You have been involved in illegal use of magic. You will come with us. I'm not going with him. I'm not. <laughs> Got arrested by the popo. <laughs> yes, so uh, we're in the city of Ath Athlica or whatever, and uh, using magic is banned in the city. So because Imowen and Irenicus were both, you know, casting spells, all Irenicus, all um, the only thing Imowen cast was a like magic missile, but that was that was enough. Yeah, and Irenicus casting all his spells, so they're both basically arrested, and they're currently at the courthouse, which we're going to see what happens later on. Um, and then here you go, a little side guy saying, what are you doing, uh, blah, 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 I don't care, dude, let me, let me alone. Let me out of here, I don't care. There you go. Anyway, yeah, so Imowen and Arenicus were arrested by the, the cowed wizards. Yes, kind of hypocritical that the police that ban magic are a bunch of wizards themselves. I don't understand how that's not just hypocritical and makes no sense, but that's the way it is. The police are all mages that don't allow you to cast magic. Um, so they're arrested, and Arenicus allowed himself to be arrested, because uh, even though he's like a level 400 wizard and he could easily kill them all, um, he wants Emowyn, which is, you're going to find out why a little bit later. But yes, he basically allowed himself to get arrested. He's at the courthouse. We're going to see what happens with him in a bit. We leveled up. Let's go ahead and do some level up stuff. We leveled up as a mage. We have a level 5 spell slot. But no spells! Oh my god! We have no spells for 4 or 5. we got to go learn some. Thankfully, we're now in Athgala. So we have access to all of this city and the world map. We have finished the tutorial dungeon. And now we have um, free access to just roam around. Um, the next quest is to basically, uh, well, okay, I'll, I'll tell you, as, as soon as we leave the marketplace, we're going to be approached by the Thieves Guild, and they're going to advance the story. But for this first video, uh, since it seems to be a good stopping point, I will, if people are interested, I'll keep going, but at this point, we now have free access to pretty much the whole world. Of course, obviously some areas are much higher level than us and we just get destroyed if we go there immediately. But we can start doing side questing, we can start leveling up, or we could go and do the main quest. Um, yeah, there's a lot to do uh, in Baldur's Gate 2. So, you know, if it seems popular, I will continue and record this and do more. If not, you know, it was still fun. I had fun. I haven't, I haven't played this game in like 10 years. But uh, I enjoyed it. Anyway, see you in a bit.